this is important to me and I really want to share this video. If I don't get it done tonight, I just won't have time. So I'm dedicating this time. I hope you can dedicate the next five, ten minutes to watch it. It would mean a lot. Whew. I don't really know how to start this video. All I know is that since this most recently happened to me, I knew I had to make a video explaining a perspective that I don't think many people view it as, and that's my thoughts on heartbreak. I read on Tumblr about a year ago a quote advising you to get your heart broken as many times as you can. And the first time I read this, I was so confused. Like, why? That sounds awful. The first time I read this, I was in the moment, I was heartbroken reading that thinking, I feel awful, why would anyone tell me to feel this way as many times as I possibly can? I didn't understand it. After I was no longer hurting, did I realize the effect it has and that I would go through that all again to get to like the other side, the other side of how it made me because I learned after my first heartbreak that I become very productive. Ultimately, when I'm sad, whether it's due to a romantic relationship or anything in my life, I give myself a 24-hour time crunch from the event that caused me to feel anything but happy, hurt, sad, whatever. I have 24 hours from that moment to cry, to feel like shit, to stay in bed, to, you know, feel sorry for myself and just not do anything and sob and call people and just tell them <laughs> that I need to talk. And then after that 24-hour time limit is up, I'm done. I can no longer sit there and cry about it. I have to move on and do something. And I learned that heartbreak makes me very productive. Ultimately, that's a positive thing because you're getting shit done. For some reason, heartbreak really motivates me to put myself out there even more. It's almost like this rebound in me that instead of rebounding with another person, I rebound with myself. Making a video that I'm super proud of, writing something, putting myself out there on social media and hoping the person sees it. And I can be like, yeah, look at what you're missing. Look at how fucking fantastic I am. And I didn't really realize that's what was happening the first time my heart was broken because I didn't even realize that my heart was in fact feeling that way. All I knew was that I had never felt this feeling before and it sucked and I couldn't identify it. For months it went on and I didn't know. It was like the weirdest sadness and ache in me. I ended up taking a million tests online, like BuzzFeed type of tests to figure out what it was. And yeah, I, I was heartbroken. And then I sat back and realized, okay, if what I'm feeling is heartbreak, then I must have been in love at some point. So again, it worked backwards, but um, anyway, after that first heartbreak, which, now, it wasn't like on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst, it was definitely not a 10 for breakups because I personally have just, I've never been in a long-term relationship like Troy and Gabriella where I would end up feeling a 10. I'd say it was probably like a 5 to 8 around there, but I don't have a lot of experience to base it off of. To be honest, I think I've only had my heart broken two and a half times. <laughs> a half, because... Yeah, I don't have to validate it. I know what it means, and that's all that matters. And the first time it happened, God, was that confusing. And mostly because I just didn't, I didn't know what I was feeling and why I was feeling that way. But once I was able to identify that, everything became so much easier. Suddenly, I felt very courageous with putting myself out there, partially because I was hoping that this person I missed and was hurt over would see it and realize what they were missing. I don't know if that makes any sense, but what I'm trying to say is that when I get my heart broken, I become the most productive person ever, and I stay up all night working and motivating myself. It just, it empowers me. I think because in my head I'm thinking I'm not going to cry in bed and let this person who left have a reason for leaving because I'm just shitty and not doing anything with my life. I'm going to get up and do something freaking fantastic so that they see it, realize what they're missing out on and either want me back or I realize I don't even need them because I'm better than that. So it works on both parts. So that's kind of what happens when I get my heart broken. There is a huge spectrum on this topic. There is heartbreak, life is over, feeling, you know, worst thing in the entire world, I can't breathe, it hurts so bad, I'm aching. And then there's hurt. There's hurting to heartbreak, and on the spectrum, I have 
been in many places. So when I say that I've gotten my heart broken, I think I've got my heart broken over here twice, and over here I've had my heart hurt twice. Maybe. I get it now. That quote, get your heart broken as many times. I think by saying get your heart broken as many times as you can, it's really saying put your heart into something as much as you can. Because sure, it might hurt a lot in the end, but you're going to learn so much and you're going to become who you are today because of that experience and you're going to grow. You'll grow more than you thought you could by doing this. I'm not going to lie, the first time I had my heart broken, a lot of the reasons I was sad and still hung up on this person for the longest I've ever been hung up on someone, yeah, maybe because it was my first real heartbreak, but maybe it was because I had a lot of, re not regrets, but kind of like wishes, past wishes. I definitely held myself back in a lot of ways. A lot of, I wish I said this, I wish I did this, I wish I wasn't so afraid of X, Y, and Z. And so I took everything that I learned and I applied that to my next experience when the time came. Thank God I did. Even then, I still had things that I learned, that I realized I did incorrectly, that I wish I didn't do. And so with that second heartbreak, which I'm gonna be honest, it really wasn't that bad. Actually, the moment it happened, I wrote something down. I'm gonna share it. I feel like this is becoming a thing. I end up ranting and realizing that something I wrote applies and I pull out one of my mini journals. This is the right one. I hope this is it, because I have a lot. When did this happen? Yep, okay. Broken at 7.11 p.m. on a Saturday. It doesn't hurt as bad the second time around. It's as if I was already expecting it. Correction. It still hurts. It's just not such a blow to the chest anymore. It's not as bad after the first time. That goes for so many things in life. Like having sex! Just kidding. <laughs> was that too far? All I'm saying is that heartbreak, yeah, it hurts. But I've learned from experiencing it two and a half times that every single time it happens, it doesn't hurt as bad. I'm so happy that each time I invest myself in the relationship even more and put even more of my heart into it because that's what I'm always afraid I won't do enough of and will regret. I can't do this. All I know is that when I'm hurting, I create. I create from a place so raw and real and a place so emotional that, that something incredible happens I never even imagined would because I'm just... I have to go somewhere. I have to get somewhere, you know? And after you envision a future with someone and it doesn't work out, you have to envision a completely new future. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I just... I just think... With each breakup, I become a better person. I learn so much from each one about myself and who I am independently and dependently and what I like about myself and what I don't necessarily agree with that I do or am and how to fix it so that the next time I don't make... I don't believe in making mistakes. How did I... Gosh, okay, I'm just gonna strip it all down. For months I've wanted to make this video on heartbreak and how heartbreak is actually a really good thing and talk about why I believe it's a good thing because when I've had my heart broken I become so productive and I motivate myself to be a better person partially because I'm rebounding with myself to show them that I'm wonderful and partially because I just need to to put myself into a project it's like a distraction almost to distract myself from feelings <sighs> wow that's healthy Michaela um, and then I was going to share and just say how I advise you to get your heart broken as many times as you can. Because, God, it's going to hurt, but it's going to be so worth it. And yeah, it sucks. Nobody likes feeling that way. You can use that. You can use any experience that you were given and turn it into something wonderful. My God, I've got a lot of experiences that I could talk about on that subject. But right now it's just heartbreak. And I'm no expert. Like I've said, I've never had a really, really serious relationship to give me that really awful heartbreak that you see in movies with the whole, you know, ice cream in bed, crying, sobbing over the notebook and all that stuff. But, you know, I've gotten my heart hurt before. This is what I learned from it. 
I'm sorry this was all over the place. God, I'm just so exhausted. It's a Monday night. I had a really long 13 hour work day. I lots of things that just don't matter but and I'm also sick I feel like this video made no sense so if you watch this I love you leave your responses and comments on this down below I'm sure I forgot to say a lot and I'm sure that everyone has their own experiences to pull from and I love to hear that I can just hear it in my voice how I'm just not as energetic as I usually am in videos maybe I'll refilm this maybe I'll drink coffee Ugh. And you're gone The pieces of my heart I'm missing you When you're gone Oh my god! I didn't even do this on purpose! I was just thinking, great, it'll work with my background! Look at you, so perfect for the video, don't break my heart. But actually break it because it'll motivate me to be a better person and I'll learn from that experience. Heartbreak is good for you, it's great. I mean, I didn't get my, I haven't had, 